All right, here we are with Daniel from OEM Audio Plus. How's it going, man? It's good, bro. How about yourself? Dude, still hyped on the Baja experience oh, and really excited that basically the year's coming to an end. I have a 20 hour drive back to Austin, Texas, and I really need to get this system in yeah. the truck. Tell, tell the viewers, what are we getting here? So we're gonna do the uh, Reference 500 sound solution. It's our it's our top tier sound solution that we offer for the Tacoma, uh, as well as the other Toyota line of vehicles. Uh, at the heart of it is our multi-channel power amplifier with the digital signal processor. This is where all the magic happens as you've experienced in the past. This is where we've tuned it specifically for the acoustics of the car, but also the head unit so that the flat settings, you get that high resolution sound like you heard before. Yeah, on the second gen, it's Dude. so nice. <laughs> so uh, the best way to summarize it is it's clarity, it's loudness, and it's impact. And that can be attained obtained even with the factory speakers so we're going to first let you experience what we call our system 500 okay. where it's the amp dsp the harness and the subwoofer and then we'll take you to the reference series where we change all the speakers that's our most popular system but nonetheless you'll get to sample both flavors and then i know down the line you want to do a dual subwoofer yeah. as well right yeah dual sub is uh is phenomenal it's not required but if you do want additional low frequency extension more moving mass more impact the duel is the way to achieve it. I want it. Yeah. Eventually we'll get there. One step at a time, bro. Let's, Let's do, do it. Look at that Amplifier. Right there, bro. That's the heart of the system, man. That's where all the magic happens. One of the frequently asked questions that Mateo told me that he gets is what's the difference between the system and the reference series? I think it's important to start with the similarities first and foremost. All of our systems at the heart of them have our multi-channel power amplifier with a built-in digital signal processor. At the end of the day, this is the heart of the system, man. This is how we achieve our guaranteed high resolution results with the loudness, with the clarity, with the impact. Uh, this is the star of the show. Our quick sync wiring harness comes with everything and our vehicle specific subwoofer system uh, comes with our eight inch sub. Uh, so that is all included in the system series. So amplifiers include quick sync wiring harness and the subwoofer system is involved in the system 500 package. Now, what can't be overstated is this is not a powered sub system. We are powering the sub. Yes, four channels of amplification are being sent to the subwoofer specifically, but two channels are going to the front stage and two channels of the rear fill. So essentially this is a complete heart transplant powering and remastering everything in terms of sound reproduction. Now, where does the reference series come into play? The Reference 500 is where we change out all of the speakers. This gives us superior dynamics, blending, uh, better bass response in the cabin of the vehicle. Uh, that's because all of our speakers are not only made with each other in mind, but they're also made with the acoustics of the vehicle that they're going in mind. This is what we call synergy in the audio realm. Meaning that our tweeters and their frequency response are complementary to that of our 6x9. Just the speakers by themselves independent of the amplifier, they're going to provide superior performance and sound reproduction, but all the more when they're coupled with the amplifier system. We actually do a copper cap in our 6x9, which allows it to, yes, get those lower uh, frequencies, but also dip into those higher frequencies for the appropriate blending, the perfect sound stage, if you may. A question that we get asked often is, can I start with the speaker upgrades and add the amp and the sub later? The answer is yes. And the same is true the other way around. You can start with the amplifier, the subwoofer system, and add the speakers later, and then add the dual subwoofer later, which is likened to what we're gonna be doing with Mateo's third generation Tacoma. Uh, all of our systems are scalable. For example, we're actually gonna be running two power Power wires with this installation even though the reference 500 with a single amp only uses one the reason this is here is for scalability so you don't have to do the install twice got the amplifier mounted under the seat. We're running the umbilical to the rear of the vehicle. We make an opening on the panel. Um, I actually use a one inch on this particular instance. You can actually do a half inch with our new Molex connector. But the key thing we want to point out is that this is not compromising the aesthetics of the interior whatsoever. The channel that we're making is only on the back side of the panel just to allow the connector to run through and the subwoofer to plug in. So again, this would be the one modification we're making to the vehicle. And even then we did it in such a way where it doesn't compromise the interior presentation.
Come on. So this is the system 500. You just literally just fired it up. Right now you're at volume 24. Go ahead and take it where you want it and give me your first impressions, all right? All right, and for the viewers, let's explain what's going on right now. All right. Here. What's all right. the only thing we've upgraded here? So what we've done is this is the multi-channel power amplifier, the digital signal processor. Uh, simply put, it's power and remastering. We've tuned everything specifically for this vehicle. We've added the subwoofer and all the wiring necessary to maintain all the factory functionality and to, uh, well, get this results. You're already hearing it, huh? Oh, <laughs> man. This is insane. I got goosebumps. This is insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. By the way guys, Hippie Sabotage, Running Miles, you guys gotta check it out. It's a song that I've been obsessed with for a while now. And uh, and I really wanted to test it out with the sound system and see how it was. Here it comes, look. Wow, wow, and this right here, this right here is basically the beginner level yeah. the stage and yeah. you can upgrade from this yeah this is entry level yeah this is the basic this stuff is entry level. yeah we're using the factory speakers in this setup i cannot believe this is entry level man that's insane there you go bro it's because of also your wire harness right? well the, like the harness is what allows it's like you want to almost consider it the nervous system all right, so the amp's the heart, the <laughs> wiring harness is the nervous system, the ability for the heart to communicate with all you know, the muscles, etc. And then your speakers are just basically the means by which we're communicating the sound reproduction that you're hearing. Subwoofers just carrying the weight, bro. So it's the muscle. That's crazy. So you're at volume 45, um, it's very full, and yet, even though the low end's there, you're not losing its vocals, right? All the details there as well. Wow. All right, guys, so one of the things that I just noticed right now, and it's when we're going to Crazy Adventures and we're with the whole team here, we, re we really get inspired or something happens or it's like, dude, play that song. And we try to crank it all the way up, like the volume, and it's not loud enough. One, that's one of the things that I noticed, like, check this out. So right now this is at 36. No, let's put it at 40. That would have been the max right here. This would have been the max. And what, this sounds crazy right now. But I can crank it up like... Like this is where you want to be right now. This is where you want to be. This is crazy. So Mateo, you were asking me about warranty. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so since we we now modified the wire harness on Correct. the whole unit. Yeah. Does that mess around with the warranty? Great question, man. So to clarify, we we just ran our quick sync wire and harness uh, utilizing the factory channels from the amplifier location under the seat to the back of the head unit. But you watched me install it, man. We were using Toyota factory connectors, a 10 pin and a six pin. And the way that I unplugged those connectors from it the back so of the clean. head unit, yeah, they plug directly in our harness and then our harness into the back of the radio. So it's a non-invasive installation. There's no cutting, no splicing, no tapping. We're using the factory ground bolt underneath there. So there's nothing that compromises vehicle warranty because you're not, you're not changing the vehicle. You're running alongside it. Yeah. You remember the only modification we did was the opening for the sub to allow the connector to run yeah. through. And even then it's not, you know, compromising the aesthetics. At all. Yeah. So that, again... 12, uh, we have a fuse holder assembly at the battery location where we're grabbing our 12 volt ground location as we mentioned down there. There's nothing that compromises your vehicle functionality or performance. That's awesome. Let me enjoy this just for a little more. <laughs> All right, crazy. let's get your speakers installed, right? <laughs>
All right, Mateo. Uh, you, this is it. <laughs> we got your speakers installed. Now, what I love is that you had uh, the opportunity to hear the system with the factory components mm -hmm. and with the well, the magic uh, behind it. And, and by the magic, I'm talking about the amplification and the DSP. Why don't you fire it up, bro, and listen to something similar to what you did before. It'd be ideal if you can listen to the same cut. Same thing, right? Yeah, it, exactly. I think that'll be the best. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go with Hippie Sabotage, mm -hmm. Running Miles First. Let's go to the same volume you had at before, like that 40, right? I was just right now for example I just heard something that I, ha I hadn't heard before like like it almost sounded like birds in the background of this song no which yeah. they're there like yeah. they're, they're right there you can, but right now you can't hear them the part went on but that's crazy I was not able to <laughs> That's new right there. Well, and it's about experience. The music is so you're saying wow and uh, of course your, your audience is inclined to think it's just the bass what, what, what's making you say wow right now Mateo so this time is not the bass before it was mm -hmm. because that's it's that the was the main that was the yeah. one thing that was a difference from the stock now it's just it's it's how crisp and clear everything is coming to my head you know yeah and and it really sucks that the viewers you guys can't see it because you're, you're listening to this from your speakers so you guys can't really grasp how freaking awesome well, and the difference no. that, yeah well that, 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 that you this nailed whole it bro. upgrade man yeah. well and, uh, and I'll, I'll say this man uh even i can't hear what you're hearing because we we do tune with the driver's seat in mind we yeah. figured 100 percent of the time there's going to be a driver there so you are in the sweet spot by all means and you're hearing detail you're hearing staging you're hearing clarity and then but you're also hearing the dynamics and the weight of your music That's right That's awesome. Man. Uh. Let's try the the other song, the one that has a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the um, uh, on my level. Yes. Yeah. Let's try that one because that one had a lot of bass. So I, I, what I want to see now is how does the intense bass mix with the rest of the music. Perfect. So what volume are we at right now, bro? So right now we're at 17. And even then, it's very even then full. it's like yeah. wow. Say, Joe. Oh, it's the champagne pouring, big joint rolling. Bombay sipping, no blunt smoking, bad bitch get it, thick and she got some friends with her, I take them out, pour shots of liquor, drinking out the bottle, smiling at all my pictures, the marijuana louse and them hoes follow like Twitter, nigga, you know everything Taylor, don't rush to the bar, fool if you ain't got no paper, that's the rules, where it's not too loud, cause now you're getting, now you're able to really crank it up, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. when you have this stock, going back to what I said, guys, I can't, I don't know if you guys can hear me, sorry about that. <laughs> so before going back to what I said before, you couldn't really push it. You can't really push it. Now you, now you can really push it. And now you're able to find that right spot where you want to be mm. when you're jamming out with your boys or girls or yourself. There you go. You know? This right, is awesome. <laughs> That's sweet, bro. All right, guys, so the OEM Audio Plus sound system is installed on the third gen Tacoma. I am extremely excited. It's five o'clock and I have a 20 hour drive back to Austin, Texas. I already have a few songs in mind that I really want to play throughout the whole road trip. Really wish you guys could experience this and you really can't through the speakers or your laptop or your headphones. But if you guys ever see this truck at a meet or see me with the truck or my team, Feel free to reach out, we'll jam out together. You guys will really get the whole experience. I can't wait to get your reactions. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That about wraps it up for this video. If you guys like it, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.